morning, everyone. Long time no see. Sorry about that. I could not make daily video clip to you this morning. You, you can see that right now we got the Sora storm that transform the backside right here. You can look at the arrow. The arrow still point again our solar wind and the weather land belt close close very close to the earth to dry up it it said that our earth magnetic field is very weak right now no solar wind no solar storm from our sun but the other storms still keep coming at night in the back all the times on mode four or five months and the wind is going strong and strong about three days ago until last night we got a three zero of the arrow that point against our solar wind it's not good at all even the earth magnetic field itself you can see the shape not very really good and it disappears so many times a day nothing good at all take a look right here from the sun okay but you can see that the color behind our earth is so stronger than the color that come from our sun what does this mean this means any energy that comes from the backside, from the bottom or from the top that hit Earth is so strong than our solar wind or solar storm. We have to see class so many times. Yesterday almost 30 C class in 24 hours. But those are the solar fair that fetching and sending the radiation EUV, gamma-ray and X-ray to Earth. The shot particle from CME are not directly to hit Earth. Therefore, our Earth magnetic field is very weak. Don't forget that the shot particle, the plasma that comes from CME, are uh, going to the Earth core. The Earth it does like the battery, right? So. When the sharp particle from the sun go to the earth core, so it boosts up our earth energy to be strong and can produce more strength when the bell or earth magnetic chill. Right now, it's not like that. And at night again, the proton density is much more higher than the daytime. You can see that. Very, very strong energy allow the earth especially at night you can see that the energy go to the earth surface and in the daytime right here so you have a gap with the white color and uh, okay the blue one the blue one is a cuter proton it's not good at all but at night at night earth is hitting by the other sun solar wind and solar storm it's not good at all. You can see that the blowing it not come from the front. It come from somewhere either down here or up here. One more times. Right? <laughs> so Therefore, someone believe in the Nibiru or Nemesis or Nunaki or La, any, any name, okay? But it's not only one solar system that come inside our solar system. And it's not only one star that come inside our solar system. At least, at least three star or three solar system that come inside our solar system. And it looked like that 
it come across the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Therefore, it's really coming to inner solar system. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. The weather right now around the world is not very really good as I try to point out the low picture. The big map of the low picture about five days ago is really big. It covers five continents Europe, Asia, North America, Africa and Australia. Yesterday is still still big. Africa, Europe, Asia and North America for continental. It's not good at all. I'm staying sharp up for my speaker. For my my speaker, sorry, I I turned on the BBC News live. Okay, nothing more today. Just that show you that not only the the, the sun get the CME and the solar storm, but you can look at this one. It looks like a sinkhole on Earth, but the sun is not a solid, right? It's not the, the rock, it's not the, the soil, or granite, or carbonite. The sun is a giant gas. But I want to say that this phenomena, it does like the sinkhole in our earth, while energy sucking down. How could the sun energy to be sucking down? What cause of that phenomena? I'm still looking for the, the the scientific answer. Not really complete yet. I have to search more to make sure that what really cause those sun energy to drop down so much like that almost every day and now spend longer and longer the, the period of the time that the sun has been dropped down right at. Meanwhile, the sunspot uh, 3088, right? That uh, rotate back to the Earth. 3088, rotate back to the Earth under the new name 3102. Don't forget that transport 3088 and 3085 has produced the X class Y, they are in the backside of the Sun. Now, transport 2088 come back as 3102. In the next two or three days, not, not over than, than five days, the sunspot 3085 will rotate to the front of the Earth again. So these two transport have really a uh, strong energy as a big hole. The big hole in the sun that allow energy inside out. So, we have to prepare for the possibility incoming super fair about September 19 to September 25th. I'm not sure, but we have to prepare for that worst case scenario first. About the back, back out. So, 
my name alien in the world sorry i just went to bed about four o'clock in the morning and wake up about seven o'clock so about four hours sleep this one is a big treat now three zero nine eight but right here the next one one more thing that the anchor of 3160 and 3102 is close to the southern Hampshire of the sun so the anchor of the CME should not directly hit earth but the solar fan definitely hit earth on of them if you cause some mega this ester to even if not the plasma that come from CME but the big x-ray gamma ray and extra UV could cause any damage to earth surface and make more freer wetter around the world especially rain because right now you can see that when the sun produces very low solar wind and solar storm it allow cosmic ray pour down to the earth don't forget that cosmic ray is not the ray in the past the scientists had observed that it's travel speed of light so they thought it's the same as x-ray gamma ray or uv but later on they found that it's a small very small sharp particle super super nano it comes from the date of the star that explode. Cosmic layer had a nucleus. 80% to 95% are hydrogen. When those hydrogen go into the earth atmosphere and mix with the our oxygen at the earth atmosphere, it produces H2O, moisture, water. Water wall is now. It's not coming, it's now. And it will be much more moisture, water, and land. Almost in the September 11, in my press, it, it does like the winter now, very cold. At three o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock. The temperature is about um, 19 to 22. It's not supposed to be cold right this at this time. So everything abnormal and it will not turn back to be the same as we were young. You have to prepare for the new life, new settlement, because maybe we have to move from our home to live in some place else forever. As Ben Dusan say every day, eyes open, no fear. But you have to prepare for the worst case scenario. And the same thing. I'm going to show this clip of the NASA that want the US citizen to prepare the life saving bed in case of this thing happening. It will happen. Earth will have no gravity for maybe 36 seconds, one minute, two minutes, but no more than one hour. What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. It's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. Make a plan.
Viel Glück